Megan for the Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Firebase Summit returned as a virtual event, and we unveiled updates to our platform that will help you accelerate app development, run your app with confidence, and scale with ease. Check out the post to read more about accelerating app development with new building blocks, gaining actionable insights to run your app with confidence, and scaling with ease using powerful engagement tools. The Android team brought a number of exciting updates to Jetpack Compose. We released Jetpack Compose 1.1 Beta. This means that new APIs in 1.1 are now stable, offering new functionality and performance improvements. 1.1 includes new features like improved focus handling and touch target sizing or image vector caching, and support for Android 12 stretch over scroll. We also released Compose Material 3, this is a brand new artifact for building Material U UIs with Jetpack Compose. It offers updated components and color system, including support for dynamic color, creating a personalized color palette from a user's wallpaper. Google Cybersecurity Action Team announced the launch of our Risk and Compliance as Code solution. This stack enables compliance and security control automation through a combination of Google Cloud products, blueprints, partner integrations, workshops, and services to simplify and accelerate time to value. Existing products such as Assured Workloads, Security Command Center, and Risk Manager, professional services and partner-led accelerator programs that enable organizations to pilot the solution, white papers and workshops for rapid security organization transformation and DevSecOps transformation, and more. To learn more about this week's stories, make sure to click the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Megan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> I usually like something to pose with, and it's usually a dog, because there's so many dogs that are at my apartment for the most part. But today is a no dog day.